Hi everyone, this is another Pandemic Traveller and today I'm at Ballast Point in the inner west suburb of Balmain, Sydney. So I'm going to show you around, it's down on the edge of the water next to Birchgrove Oval. I'll probably do another video in Birchgrove Oval but for now I'll show you around Ballast Point. To be honest, I'm not really sure if it's even in the inner west Balmain, or particularly in the inner west. Um, it's a Sydney suburb that is close, quite close to the city. It's on the harbour. It's a little bit of a peninsula, or you could call it that, or I do anyway. And um, it's quite close to the city, but because it's a peninsula, you have to um, like get out of the peninsula to get into the city. So it takes a little bit longer than you'd probably expect because of being um, a peninsula and on the water. So this, this is strange. Let's have a look at this. Stone statues of ancient waves. Tongue-like dingoes on shore. Okay. That's very unusual. And I don't know what these tanks are, but obviously this was probably used for something a long time ago um, that it's not used for anymore. And in Australia, we like to keep heritage and list a lot of different things as heritage. So there's a few little viewing points where you could sit and get a bit of a view. That's the view and there's the viewing point. Um, I'm pretty sure that this, these are native trees, so I'm pretty sure this is called a Morton Bay Fig and it's very iconic to Australia because it's one of the first trees to be named by botanists that came over to Australia from England. So an interesting view from here. Quaint little spot. View of North Sydney. View of the city and Barangaroo. Don't fall down. Okay. So it looks like there's some information here. Might have a look for you. Menevia. I don't know what that means. So, Menevia. 1852 to 1928. In 1852, Thomas Perkins, a merchant and draper, I don't know what a draper is, bought the five acre site at Ballast Point in 1864. Perkins built the two story marine villa Menevia on the highest plateau, taking advantage of the commanding position on the waterfront. Several factors contributed to the identification of a desirable house location, including sea breeze, elevated land, and transportation routes afforded by water frontage on the foreshore of the harbour. The earliest identified plant of Menevia, 1883, shows the house as an L-shaped structure with the rear wing of the L being a separate building. Further additions were made to the building over the next six years, including a structure that was most likely a stable. The glass display case containing domestic artefacts were covered from the Menevia site during the site remediation works and these walls and the sandstone remains present the present the alignment of the eastern corner of Menevia. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, is there some stuff in here still? I'm not seeing anything. Okay. 
Alright, so I'll take you for a little walk down to the water. Try not to kill myself while climbing down. Whoa! River cat! Okay. So this path here goes to, like, so you can walk around uh, that side of the water. Another viewing spot over here. You can see the Harbour Bridge. Sorry if it's bouncy. Another little viewing spot on my right. Now we are basically down at the water. Okay, so there's a spot where people moor some boats. Beautiful view from down here. There's a park bench on my right where you could sit and have a view in the evening after going for a bit of a wander. So, another beautiful location. So, once again, Thanks for watching my video. This is a pandemic traveler video. Please like and subscribe. If you know anyone that would like, possibly like to see this video, please feel free to share it with them. And if you have anything you would like to add to my video, any comments you'd like to add, information you know about the place, or anything in general you'd like to say to me, feel free to. Once again, pandemic traveler, traveler thanks for watching. Peace out.